In the last video, we learned what mindfulness is and what we mean by being mindful. Now we're going to look at some of the benefits of mindfulness and why mindfulness is so important. When we're not being mindful and paying attention on purpose in the present moment, we're usually just functioning on automatic pilot. And when we're on automatic pilot, we're much more likely to have our buttons pushed and react automatically and unconsciously and out of habit to other people and things going on in the world around us and to our inner experiences of thoughts, feelings and emotions and body sensations. And this can trigger automatic reactions that often aren't that helpful to us and can negatively affect our mood. But when we're being mindful and we're aware of what we're doing and thinking and feeling, we have the freedom and choice to act intentionally instead of just out of habit. And mindfulness allows us to see more clearly how we're living and what's going on in our life. And this insight allows us to make positive changes that can improve our health and well-being and the quality of our life. Another reason that mindfulness is important is that we tend to be happier when we're paying attention in the present moment than when our minds are off wandering somewhere else. In order to study what makes us happy, Harvard researcher Matt Killingsworth developed an iPhone app that contacted volunteers at random intervals throughout the day and asked them how they were feeling, what they were doing, whether their mind was on what they were doing, and if their mind had wandered, whether their mind was on something pleasant, something unpleasant, or something neutral. He found that our minds are wandering about 47% of the time. He also found that we tend to be happier when we're paying attention to the present moment than when our minds are wandering, and that whether our minds are wandering or not is a much better predictor of whether we're happy than the actual activity in which we're engaged. And this was true for every activity, even the least enjoyable, such as commuting or doing chores. Even for these activities, people were happier when they were paying attention to what they were doing in the present moment than when they allowed their minds to wander. As you can see from this chart, on a scale from 0 to 100, people reported an average level of happiness of about 65. When their minds weren't wandering, or they had wandered to something pleasant, their level of happiness was slightly higher than average. When their minds had wandered to something neutral, their level of happiness was slightly lower than average. And when their minds had wandered to something unpleasant, their level of happiness was significantly lower than average. Killingsworth concluded that mind wandering is an excellent predictor of people's happiness and that a wandering mind is an unhappy mind. Let's look at some of the benefits of paying attention in the present moment. When we're being mindful, our minds are focused more or less on whatever we're doing in the present moment. Now, if our minds wander, if they wander to pleasant topics, such as fond memories or daydreams or plans that are coming up that we're excited about, there really isn't much cost in terms of happiness. We're only very slightly less happy when our minds wander to something pleasant than we are when we're paying attention in the present. But when we're not paying attention to our experiences in the present moment, whether it's a beautiful sunset or the taste of our food or a full appreciation of the company of our friends and loved ones, we miss out on a lot of the little things that can make our lives richer and more interesting and meaningful and enjoyable when we're not mindful of the present. Now, if instead of something pleasant, our minds wander to something neutral, we are less happy. And if our minds wander to something unpleasant, we're significantly less happy. So now let's look at some of the places our minds tend to go when they wander away from the present moment and why this can make us unhappy. Often our minds wander to unpleasant topics about the past such as bad memories, regrets, self-criticism about things we have or haven't done or the way things have worked out. And we replay all these unpleasant experiences and memories over and over again in our head. And this leaves us feeling sad and hurts our self-confidence and self-esteem. And repeatedly dwelling in the past and ruminating like this can pull us down into feeling depressed. And if our mind wanders to unpleasant topics about the future, such as things that are coming up that we're dreading or worried about, we end up feeling anxious and worrying even more. 
and if our mind wanders to all the things we need to get done and how little time we have to do everything, we start feeling stressed. And if our minds start wandering to something mean someone said to us or some wrong that's been done to us or something unfair that's happened, we end up feeling angry. And so when we're able to cultivate a mindful awareness of the present, we tend to be happier. We experience our lives more fully. And we avoid many of the pitfalls of a wandering mind that can leave us feeling depressed, anxious, stressed, or angry. And please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and to check out my online mindfulness-based cognitive therapy and stress reduction course where these videos come from for free, you'll find a link in the description.